Hey guys, got Level here, and today we're going to be talking about how to turn viewers into regular viewers. So I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, but I just couldn't settle on a title because it's technically how to create regulars to your live stream. Also, how to grow your audience. If you're making more regulars, then you're getting more viewers that come again and again basically so basically if you watch till the end you will know about a couple of techniques a couple of things that you can do in your live streams to make sure that those viewers come back for more and they keep coming back okay two things before i start one merch streamer brain merch two christmas overlays gumroad.com slash get level okay little disclaimer before we start advice on growing your channel is very general okay if i'm on youtube and i'm giving advice on how to grow your channel obviously it's general it's not gonna apply to everyone if i tell you hey be extra be energetic and that's not you then this advice don't really apply to you basically you need to figure out what type of streamer you are what kind of audience you have and what type of content you produce okay I can't just guess that I'm just giving general advice as always okay so the general advice here is to get people involved if I could resume everything into one tip it would be oh if you want to get regulars just get people involved and they will keep on coming back because they are not just viewers of the stream they are part of the stream so let's start tip number one is just chatting now I know a lot of people don't really like the even the idea of just chatting but you will see big streamers do that before a stream they will take like I don't know 40 minutes an hour to just talk to the viewers you know create a certain bond or really have that experience change now for popular streamers like tim the tatman i believe shroud does that or, or even ninja does that Do dr disrespect definitely does, does that now for them chat is going so fast and there's so many people in chat it's kind of a battle for attention they will pick out one line that they quickly see in chat and then respond to it creating that interaction if you're watching my video most likely you're not in that case okay so basically you are able to read every single line of chat and really create this certain bond with your chat now i don't want you to think that i'm telling you that you should be 100 percent positive with this I i'm not telling you hey ask them what they did this weekend you don't have you don't have to do any of that technically it has to suit your personality if that's if you're genuinely curious or if that's what you're going for with your uh, content definitely you know learn about your chat have that interaction the goal here is just to communicate with them basically you can make it all about you if that's what you want okay if you don't care about your chat or you don't care about what they did you can just make it about you tell them what you did this week what are you thinking about you know what has been preoccupying your mind recently what movies did you watch what did you eat this morning you know believe it or not just simply taking the time to talk to your audience creates a bond that cannot be really replaced especially as a small streamer this could be the whole difference between people watching you when they could be watching a better streamer <laughs> quote unquote just that small little interaction that hanging out feeling that they get when you stream and just chatting of course there's this idea of the game is what's important the game the game the game it's not it's really not true it's really not especially not true for small streamers you know if i go to a stream knowing that there's only three three people watching i'm absolutely expecting the streamer's attention as a viewer that's that's what I'm doing, you know? That's 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 the goal here. If I want to watch pro plays, I'll just watch a pro player. I'll watch a tournament or something like that. Okay, so tip number 2. It's the the idea of rank, the status idea. Basically, if you want someone to really really feel involved in your stream, it's good to give them something where they feel special everyone wants to be a part of something big or just want to be a part of something uh, even if they don't know it you know making someone vip might increase the chances of that person coming back to your stream every time you're live making them a moderator will absolutely do that but i know you're thinking whoa 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 i don't want to give moderator to every regular or vip to them that's fine other ways that you can give people the sensation of status is just by uh, um, your simple reaction the way you interact with them is very important it's kind of like real life and that's a mistake that i see a lot of streamers do is that they're so focused on being a good streamer that they interact with everyone exactly the same everyone is great you're happy to see everyone everyone deserves a shout out no no like you you don't act like that in real life right you don't 
react to people the same way you react to everyone else. Like there's a difference. And it's the same thing with live streaming. If someone is a huge supporter, they des- they deserve a kind of like this extra love when they walk into your chat. Walk into your chat. Is that even? So remembering details about them, greeting them a little with more warmth. Uh, might give them that sensation of status. So even if they don't have a badge with their name, they know that they are important in your stream. All right, tip number three is video games. And this one is a two-parter. There's two techniques that you can use. You can basically turn your stream into the most interactive stream on Twitch by playing interactive games, games where your chat can play with you. Now, there are a multitude of games like that. You should probably make a Google search, but the action of constantly playing in a stream is it makes you no longer passive basically you're not sitting down and just watching the stream you're not just sitting down and just lurking because you can do that on every stream but if you're actively playing a game in that stream that becomes an activity it, it becomes sort of a hobby it becomes part of your life you know and if something is becoming part of your life when you're not doing it you might miss it especially if you're having fun while you're doing it so that is a huge incentive for people to come back to your stream if they're actively doing stuff during your stream so the most popular games you'll know is like jackbox party uh, there's marbles on stream and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this one because you because everyone is kind of passive is this your input name and they just see their names on screen and things are happening but I know a lot of people that make it work, that get a lot of viewers from doing that, but just because it's kind of interactive. Uh, the game that I would advise, if if I may, is uh, Act It Out. Act It Out is a game, well, it's called Act It Out, a game of charades. It's basically a game where you get a subject that your chat can't see, and then you have to either explain it, you have to mime it, you have to draw it, you have to sing it, and they have to guess. And the game is actually connected to your chat. So whoever types the right answer, it will pop up in the game, and you don't have to manage any anything at all. I love this game and I love playing with my chat. Plus there's a like a leaderboard, like there's a scoreboard for people. You can, I, I've done giveaways for people who reach a certain uh, number. So it's really, really interactive and people get super comp- competitive. So it's kind of a, a race uh, against the clock. Uh, who's going to type the right answer first and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend it. Act it out. Excel. It's on Steam. Okay. So that first technique was basically playing games that are fully interactive that really gets the chat involved, okay? The second technique, I'm separating it because this one, you could either do it from time to time. You can add it to your schedule. It would be like viewer games. You would have a specific day for viewer games. So if your own content is very focused on something and you can't possibly do interactive streams every single day, try to fit at least one day in your stream for viewer games. When I first started on Twitch, I did not know that I needed a good internet connection. I didn't know about my internet connection. So I started immediately playing uh, Grand Theft Auto and Battlefield 3. And I tried streaming that at like 720, 60 FPS, but I had something like 70% drop frames on my OBS. My quality was horrible. I can fully tell you that my stream was unwatchable, but I was still getting viewers once I started doing viewer games. Once I started putting in my title, hey, viewer games, you play Battlefield 3, you can join me. You play Grand Theft Auto, you can join me. I also started networking at the time, so I would find other uh, GTA streamers to play with, and then we would basically have viewers in common and stuff like that. Now, if you're afraid of playing with random people, you can put it behind some sort of paywall. You can either put your stream in follow-only mode, which is good because that's going to bring you a lot of followers, especially if they want to play with you. The goal here is to tell you that people will join and, and they will play with you Um, No matter what your stream looks like, no matter how entertaining you are, those are people who are looking to play with people. That's kind of why I started streaming on Twitch, because I was working a full-time job and I didn't have many friends to play with. And and it worked. I I got so many friends just from streaming. So you can put it follower-only mode or you can put sub-only. Like, stream is open to everyone, but only subs can play with you. Um, Those subs which is great. If you have subs, that's great. This might be an incentive to, to sub to you. And before you're thinking, oh my God, a paywall or whatever, this is, it's streaming, okay? Maybe you have followers that you don't want to play with. Maybe you have a bunch of followers and you don't want to have to manage a ton of people. So having some sort of perk for your subs is, is a great way to make them regulars. Those people will not unsub because they're so used to playing with you all the time. Anyway, so first technique is basically playing interactive games. So everyone is constantly interacting with the stream. Your stream is interactive. And the second method is basically creating a certain event for this 
interactive part of this stream. Okay, so you don't do it all the time. When you do it, it's something special. You might have your own requirements in order to participate and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd recommend the first option, but maybe it's not for you, so you decide. All right, tip number four is off stream content. Of course, if you're a live streamer and you wanna make it big, uh, you have to basically be a content creator. So on every, on a bunch of platforms, you need to have content there basically you need to be active on certain platforms it doesn't have to be all of them but like maybe you're a very active instagram user maybe you're a very active uh twitter user maybe you're both like me follow me by the way <laughs> and what you can do is have that interaction you know the goal is to get them involved you can get them involved on your social media or even better you can have a discord now i know you're thinking oh my god having a discord and managing it is hard because people just don't talk every discord server is dead I get that, but you can get them some incentives to get them to interact. Maybe you're running Discord only giveaways, you know, maybe only people who join your Discord can play with you and stuff like that, you know. But the goal here is to do stuff that you're not necessarily doing on stream. So you, you're you managing your regulars off stream. You become part of their lives, basically. Another way of doing that is community community nights so you can stream it you you can like not stream it that's completely fine but i know people who do movie nights as an incentive to you know be part of the community and really uh be active i know people who do contests discord contests like photography contests so it, it kind of gives you that vip feeling when you do stuff like that so people are not only just engaged in your stream but they really really they also get that number two where they feel their rank is higher than the regular uh, uh passerby from your stream and then tip number five is should be obvious to you but it's focus on your viewers if you want to make regulars you have to give them this attention <laughs> basically if you want people to come back to your stream they need to get something out of your stream and i'm not saying it's impossible to you know not pay attention to your chat and then grow your channel what I'm saying is that it's easier as a small streamer to interact with your stream a lot. And every streamer on planet Earth will tell you, small streamers mostly, will tell you, I love interacting with my chat, but it's not true. You can look at my series called uh, Twitch Roulette, where I go and I watch small streamers. And it's, it's hard. It's actually super hard to get streamers to interact with you when you're in chat, even if you're the only one in chat. So I'm talking about really, really, really interacting with your chat you know if someone comes in and they say hello don't just say hello back and then go silent you know try to engage a conversation first of all you should be always talking if you want to keep things interesting you have to have this this ability of taking something small and making a big deal out of it make making a long conversation out of it you know if someone comes in and they say oh i just ate pancake trust me if no one speaks after that i can go on for hours just based off of that little line of chat, okay? So that's what you need to do. You really need to focus on that viewer. I know you probably care about your, I don't know, your Overwatch ranking, but you're not, like, you're, you're not going for esports. Like, you're not going pro. So why would you ignore people that are giving you the most important thing in their lives, which is their time? Why would you ignore them just because, hey, we might lose this match? But you clearly know that, another game is going to come out in two years and you're not going to care about this game. Like, basically what I'm trying to say is that as soon as you press that go live button, you are doing something. You're not just playing video games and people are watching. You decided that to broadcast yourself to the world, okay? You never know who's watching. So if your goal is to grow as a broadcaster, an entertainer, a live streamer, then your audience should be your focus, not whatever games you're playing okay and i understand that some of you are actually people that are trying to go pro first of all i don't advise you streaming if you're trying to train and become pro because like your mindset needs to be focused on the game in that case why would you broadcast yourself to the world anyways some people manage to do it to do both whatever <laughs> all right so tip number five was basically focus on give them the attention that they seek when they're watching a small streamer i know you love winning and and maybe it's frustrating to lose and all of that but you're live you're live right now people are giving you their time make the most out of it 
show them that it's valuable to you because it sure is valuable to them okay anyways uh this video is probably way too long <laughs> i always intend to make five minute videos but i go on for rants for, for a while okay let me know if you agree with what i say if you disagree um let me know what situation you are in let me know what else could i have put in this video as an advice on how to make regulars how to get people to come back to your stream basically social media is probably up there and um yeah don't forget christmas overlays gumroad.com slash get level one pack is actually free so grab it grab it please check the links in the description there's a lot of interesting stuff uh, and uh, i will see you guys next time okay thank you so much for watching this video go out there make me proud get level out <laughs>